Ooh. Hey guys, Mac Wooster here. Mac Wooster here. David, I don't know. You know um, David. this week we're doing kind of a different video because uh, Cameron's not here. As you may see, this has happened in the past. Yeah, and we kind of lied to you. We said he had curling and hockey, and he does play those sports, <laughs> but uh. There's been another reason. It happened while we were filming the Mac said Halloween show thing. Yeah, we were filming in the forest. We were playing Truth or Dare offset. And I was stupid and I dared Cameron to touch a sloth tree. And I didn't know anything about sloth trees. They're native to Canada. I thought it was a myth, but when Karen touched it, he fell to the floor immediately and went off. Yeah. So we called his parents and he uh, he went home. Mm-hmm. And he was okay. The symptoms, they didn't really... Fully fit in yet. They didn't, didn't really sh develop until maybe two weeks after. Mm -hmm. He started doing weird things. He started obsessively hugging pillows. Hugging anything in sight. He was slow, lethargic. Sleeping constantly. We could barely Jimmy wake him up just for a video. Yeah. And like... So he went to the doctors because he knew something was wrong, and they, they, they announced that he had slothitis. A disease that affects only like sloth percent of people, three percent of people. That's what sloth It's is. a new condition, and um... Cameron's just really unlucky. It only affects a certain amount of pink-haired people every year, and every sloth year, it's three months. And he just happened to be one of them. So he started treatments. He ate little human-shaped pills. They had to get him thinking about humans, not sloths. He yeah, did he sloth just... activities, though, which is against the rules. Like, yeah. horse stomach riding, instead of riding on the back, you hang from the stomach. And it was becoming really bad. One day, I just walked down, and he was on the tree. I have this picture of him that is of him when he first found out he had slothitis. He was in halfway between the transformation. <sighs> After a while, the pills and the treatments just kind of stopped working. So they have started... He kind of quit for a little. He just couldn't fight his sloth in instincts. And um... We thought he was gonna lose. Yeah, but they put him on some new pills. But there's a lot of things on the pills yeah. to make him feel better. The blood of a pelican, mm -hmm. the butt of a whale. One of the things <sighs> is Nick Minaj's left pinky toe. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Scouting Hollywood what's that one? Yeah, that one took a while to get. Also, just human vibes, mm -hmm. along with a bit of sloth hair. Yes. And they put like an antivirus there so that he could fight him because right now all those things are in his body that's causing the slothitis. There's one important thing you guys can do is if we hit reach 100 subscribers, that's how. That's pretty much the cure. That's the cure. Honestly, first we started this YouTube, we wanted just to have fun and you know, get subscribers, but now we're doing it for Cameron. You're doing it for Cameron too. You guys need to help. We need to help fight slothitis. And remember, do not touch a sloth tree on the third year when somebody's left pinky toe touches the snowflake that is in Jamaica right now. Yes. I know it's hard to take in. It was hard for us. Really but hard. Cameron's tough, and he'll fight this slothitis. And we'll fight it with him. And, and so will you. We know you guys Send will be there guys. helping us. Him, please. So, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, guys. Leave some positive, non-sloth related comments in the comment section below. Stay awesome. Wow.